Hello, my name is Nick Parma. I lead global sales at Group IB. This is a demonstration of how Group IB Secure Bank can help identify fraud at early stages for your mobile application. Specifically, through this demonstration, we'll look at how threat actors can infect mobile devices, how they can escalate privileges within the device, um, and how Group IB Secure Bank can help detect against these types of threats and others. So what you have here on the left-hand side of your screen is an emulator or uh, basically virtual machine for the mobile side. And here what we're showing you is logging into a legitimate application that we created and show you that everything can work, um, log into to the test application. Here you see the test mobile bank where we enter a PVK and the password very effective 1111 and place some amount to be transferred to another financial institution just to show you all of the general functionality. Now what we'll do is actually jump into Group IB Secure Bank dashboard, where we can show you how we can detect that specific login to the mobile application. And here you see our device that has a emulator being utilized um, and various other activities, including what you just saw on your screen with the user login into the account and various clicks and touches. So now what we'll do is actually weaponize this specific mobile phone. And what we'll do is actually launch that specific application. You can see here that you actually need to go in and turn on this security program. What it's actually doing is giving you access to the accessibility services within the mobile phone itself, uh, something that mobile Trojans often do in order to then conduct further fraudulent activity. Here you can see a command and control panel. Um, and that specific mobile device, if I pause it, you can see a, a control panel of this specific mobile application, this specific IMEI, which has communicated now back to the command and control infrastructure of this specific mobile application. Jumping back to our emulator, we want to show you exactly what would happen if they logged into their mobile banking application and how Group IB Secure Bank can actually detect this in real time at the earliest stages. And here what you can see on your screen now is the, the next login to the mobile application that you just saw and how this particular device um, has accessibility services uh, enabled on this specific mobile phone and potentially fraudulent actions can happen at a later state during this user session. And here you can actually see us clicking on uh, the accessibility services and seeing general description of how Trojans can use this in order to conduct further fraudulent actions. Now what we'll do in this example is show how the Trojan continuously tries to gain additional uh, privileges within the mobile device in order to then uh, conduct subsequent actions, uh, malicious actions, of course. And here you can see um, that uh, the system is uh, basically asking for um, device admin access in this particular application. While you had the original bank login page on the, uh, <clears throat> on the screen. Here, what we're actually showing you is how the um, how the Trojan actually now shows a web overlay of the exact legitimate uh, mobile application that we were once logged into before the mobile Trojan had the administrative rights to this particular mobile device. Here you can see the little Android um, emoji, and this is representing the uh, fake uh, web page that's being shown as a result of the Trojan. Um, gaining additional admin privileges to the mobile device itself. And here you can see that we actually tried to log back in to that original uh, online banking page. And we want to go back to the Secure Bank admin portal to show you how um, Group IB Secure Bank can actually detect web overlay attacks in real time. Here you can see accessibility services in the previous mouse movement. Um, were enabled on this particular device. And in the second notification, a short time thereafter, uh, overlay activity was detected on the device, which is typically signifying something that doesn't want to um, 
happen for your customers during a legitimate access to their online banking or mobile application page. And in this case, um, Group IB Secure Bank effectively can detect um, this web overlay attack in real time. Now what we're actually gonna show you is how this control panel from this infected device has the ability to actually um, conduct different bot activity or commands um, to the infected mobile device. Here you can see in Russian language, because most uh, or many um, cyber criminals are, are Russian speaking by nature, the skilled ones. And here you can see a number of different commands that the threat actor could select. For example, send or receive text messages. In this case, what we're actually gonna do is send the command to use the intercepted login and password combination in order to automatically log in to this infected mobile device customer's online banking account. Here you can see the automated activity. There's no clicks or mouse movements of the username and password that was actually intercepted by the Trojan to automatically log into that account. What we're gonna do now is jump back to the Secure Bank web portal so that you can see how a Secure Bank can detect this activity in real time. Here you can see accessibility services are again detected on the specific device, as well as an emulator being used. And here you can see further um, escalation of privileges at the accessibility services located at the very bottom of the detection page. And so these are a few examples of how Secure Bank can detect mobile devices that have been infected with different Trojans, can also detect privileges being escalated on different devices that are required uh, for most Trojans in order to conduct further Trojan activity, and how Group IV Secure Bank can automatically detect against web overlay attacks that Coleman's, uh, Trojans are commonly known for. All of this can be detected in real time on any device. And in addition to that, we have uh, an API that is um, able to receive commands as well, so you can interact with our API and block this activity in real time using other security devices that you might have within your financial institution, e-commerce company, or whatever you might have, um, we can protect it.